Hi, how are you? You know, there are so many Christians in our world, about 2.2 billion of them if I recall. Now, wouldn't you believe me if I told you that 9 out of every 10 Christians use religion as a crutch instead of a gateway to better understanding God? Well, turns out I'm one out of those 10 people who actually use religion as a gateway towards understanding God. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why do I say this? Well, I say this because it's obviously true because it's been shown to me by God himself. Now, on a somewhat related topic, who wants to live the God life? I mean, seriously. I mean, I'm not an expert on anything or anywhere, you know, but even an old, regular, autistic jack-off like me knows how to live the God life. And I'm gonna teach you how. Watch this. Look at me! I'm Jesus! No, I'm just kidding. I'm not Jesus. I'm just an old, regular human being. So, in case you haven't noticed, there are two ways one can vacuum. One can vacuum Jesus' way with one's own hands, and they can use one's own hands as mini brooms. And then there's another way to do it that's much quicker. We call that the vacuum, right? Let me tell you about it. Take a look at this thing. This is an Oryx. <laughs> well, not really an Oryx, as in Tyrannosaurus Rex, but more an Oryx than anything else. But this is, compared to today's standards, this is actually considered prehistoric. Because you got these newer things like Dyson and stuff. But this thing does just as good a job, if not better, as any other vacuum out there. And I'm going to show you how that is. You ready? You ready to have your mind blown? Well, guess what? You're going to have your mind There's a little bunch of sweetness in every song you sing. And baby, I'm not lying, let my baby be my side.
the floor with our hands <laughs> you know you know doing it Jesus style because Jesus was a carpenter right yeah yeah so, I mean it's pretty simple just collect as much dust and stuff as you can when you finish don't forget to wash your hands because it's fucking important you know man Always important to wash your hands at least three or four times a day. I mean, not frequently, because that's just freaking obsessive compulsive. And I know that because I'm obsessive compulsive myself. So there's no real need to explain anything else, right? <laughs> I mean, it figures. Now, I know you can't see it from your view, but. When you do get to see it, you'll see my face on there. And I will make your face the greatest in Koradai. Or else you will die. Faces of Evil reference. Philip CDI. Right? On YouTube? Have you seen them being parodied to death on there? They've become living, breathing memes. They were memes long before YouTube was ever considered to be a legitimate idea from three guys who were former employees from PayPal. Huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um... The landlady of the con of the condominium of a whole apartment building. I just basically I, I made sure to restrain Abby for a bit, and of course I got a chance to talk to her. I was like, "Well, that's just Abby saying hi. hi." So uh, you have a blessed morning and God bless. That's basically what I said. I can't really recall exactly everything that I said, but. That's because I'm not God. You know? But anyway, vacuuming a floor hand style takes a lot longer, but believe me when I say that it's worth it. It is absolutely freaking worth it. Mm-hmm. You know? Fifth Harmony reference. You know Fifth Harmony, right, Nikki? Yeah. Mm. Well, I've heard them on the radio before. They're okay, but they're too mainstream for me, so I choose not to care about it. the basic shite. Nothing more, nothing less. You know?
But yeah, you understand, right? Wow. Hey, honey, I got a dog bone for you. You want a dog bone? You want a dog bone? I'm going to give you a dog bone. Come on over to the kitchen, bro, and I'll give you a dog bone. Come on. Come on, Abby. Abby, Abby come on. You want a dog bone? A milk bone? Milk bone? Milk bone? Eh, she's not hungry. Not really. I mean, she's wagging her tail like crazy, but she's not hungry. By the way, if you're going to take some trash out, you got to do it right. Which, I mean, hell, it's pretty simple, right? You just go to the garbage disposal, you put it in the dumpster, you come back inside. Straightforward, I mean... <laughs> I mean, anyone could just do this faster than you can say Jack... Robinson. I mean, you know. I mean, good God. Ow. <laughs> Taking out the trash is actually simple. How the hell do you not know how to take out a trash bag? <laughs> but anyway, I've been Kevin the Skull Anderson. You people have been my loyal friends and fellow viewers and watchers. And until next time, always remember that if you want to use religion as a gateway instead of a crutch, you got to learn how to live the God life. Thank you, God bless, and I'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>